Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro, where I am trying to give some love to these southern skies, but ongoing bad weather is keeping me indoors lately. I just thought it was a bit of a time for a channel update to let you know what the plans are and what's going on. Um, I think the user guides are going along quite well. I'm hoping people are finding them useful and getting good, some good information out of them. I know I've been learning a bit because I've had to delve into areas of APT that I haven't had to go into before. And it's all been quite interesting for me and hopefully for you. Um, so that'll be continuing. Hopefully once the skies do clear here I can get into my deeper dives and do other things that require you to be out under the stars to be able to give a real demonstration of what's going on. So hopefully that won't be too far away but uh, I think I've extended that time greatly because I've been uh, purchasing new gear. I sold up my 102mm F7 triplet refractor and I've gone out and purchased myself a 6 inch Newtonian. I've never used a Newtonian, so this is going to be another big experience for me. Uh, hopefully be a bit of fun. I'm looking at reducing the imaging time I need to collect data, which will be good. Um, but that's something I'll be doing over the next few weeks. It should be here next week, I hope, um, coming from the US. So we'll see what happens with that. But that's the uh, first part of the new gear I've purchased. And add to that a QHY Q focuser the precision version um, that'll be something else to give a try out I've heard good stories about these and we'll see how that works for me so that's something I'll be adding to my new telescope when it arrives and finally I've also brought some new LRGB filters I've brought the ZWA 31 millimeters to replace the 1.25 inch ones I've been using uh, which will be better for my camera I only got the yellow, the ZWA ones, I'm really after Antlia but I didn't have any money left after purchasing the new scope and everything so this is what's going in there for now and that'll give me something else to work on uh, when I get clear nights. But uh, that's what's happening, I'll be continuing with the user guide as I go along and hopefully get some clear nights to get outside and uh, really do some imaging and show you guys how things work fully uh, rather than just the brief overview you're getting in the setting in the uh, user guides but I'll finish this one here it was just a quick update and I'll say goodbye to you all and wish you clear skies and hope you get something on your camera take care all and I'll talk to you later